Yo, what's up, man? My name is AC Alone, Freestyle Fellowship Project Blow, and um, I'm on Distortion the Static today, and you about to check me out. We, we up in the record store, we're gonna do some record shopping, and we're gonna talk a little bit about what I'm doing, what's going on. So, come on in, let's do it. Check it out. So first of all, where, where'd you get the name AC Alone from? AC Alone, let's see. Um, it just come from back in the days, you know. I was with we had the little rhyme crew called the MC Aces, you know, and um, we was all we was all part of the crew. And then, simple as it is, the crew split up, and I was like, you know, people say, oh, you, you know, you AC alone now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know, you kind of by yourself. So that name kind of stuck around, you know, and it just it just became a, just just my own attribute, you know. Of, of me being alone in my style, me being, you know, the, you know, original and everything. You know. Cool. So it's it's um it's not that deep. Although it really <laughs> is. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so uh well, when did you get started with rhyming and just you know the hip hop and everything? Um oh, hold these. Uh let's see, probably around when those dudes right there came out. <laughs> Uh, now, you know, about, th about 13, you know, hip-hop was all, always a part of what we were doing, but by the time I turned 13 or 14, that's, that's, that's about, so that's about, you know, 83. Okay. Cool, 82, cool. 83, yeah. So, yeah, so, um, so, yeah, just for the people that don't know, you just want to talk about all the, you know, the albums that you've done and just... Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's see. My name is AC Alone. I'm from a group called the Freestyle Fellowship. And, you know, it's a part of a, a collective called the Project Blow. And, and from the Freestyle Fellowship, you can check out records like To Whom It May Concern, Inner City Griots, Shock of Doom, Temptations. And for myself as a solo artist, my first solo album was called All Balls Don't Bounce. The second one was titled Book of Human Language. And the third one, it's called Accepted Eclectic. Mm -hmm. the fourth one is called Hip Hop in the World We Live In, all the way to the new album, which is called Love and Hate, right now. And also, don't forget albums like Haiku d'Etat, featuring myself, Abstract Rude, and Mike and I from the Freestyle Fellowship, as well as me and Abstract Rude doing an album called The A Team. So, we're a whole, uh, you know, collective of different artists. Yet, I have my group. I do solo work, and, and you know, I'm a musician. I'm a vocal musician. So. I, I'm doing a lot of different things with different people all over. But those are my works that you can find, as well as Project Blow, the compilation, and The Good Brother, right there. <laughs> cool, cool. So, um, you know, you've done a lot of things, a lot of albums, a lot of singles with different people. You know, yeah. what, what really keeps you motivated and what really you know, keeps you taking things to the next level? Um, it's more or less just, just being a part of my, my whole existence. You know, this is. Um, you know, I'm a musician by nature, and you know, as this type of thing came to me, you know, I just stick with it. I, I just, um, I think when it's time for me to stop, that you know, the energy and, and all, all, all the forces will let me know that it's time to stop. Until then, um, I think I got a mission. You know, it's another place for me, as as so everybody else on, in this world. You know, but um, I definitely have um, a lot more to say and do as far as being a musician and just being an MC is concerned, you know, a rapper, you know, with lyrics. Okay, so, so you said you have a lot more to do. Is there, is there ever going to be a time when you'll be content or you'll just, you know, is there like a step that you'll achieve where, you, where you'll be finished or? or? Uh, I don't know. That's, that, you know, that's, that's, that's part of uh, answer to the first question partly like uh, when the energy says so when 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 it's all said and done when I know unanimously that I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing on the mic when nobody wants to hear me when um Gabe won't house my records no more you know <laughs> there ain't no time soon no so yeah no it, it's, it's just gonna go on I mean I'm a firm believer in you know as we get older that the fans get older with us and then you know we just take that into the new into the new era you know as well as we, we, we invite all the, the, the new generation within, you know? Okay, cool, cool. So, like I was telling you before, I was watching MTV this morning, 
And, um, <clears throat> you know, I seen this battle. They had this little stage battle. They sort of made this ring. On oh, MTV? You know, yeah, it was on MTV. They had these cats from different cities. Uh -huh. um, they had Sway hosting it. They had Just Blaze behind the tables. They had uh, Rockefeller. Right. And some judges. Huh. They got a Rockefeller contest or a Rockefeller contract. They get a record deal at the end. Yeah, they get like a lump sum and a record deal. Yeah. So, you know, I just wanted to, to know your opinion on just MTV latching on to the whole you know, battle scene or just, you know, just hip hop in general, you know, using it as like a street credibility. You know, which, which I thought was funny though, I may add, is they had like this, this woman, this cheerleader outfit who was like doing the bracket. She was wearing like, you know, she was like a video girl and she was like, right. had a short skirt and she was sort of like doing the bracket, you know, so I thought that was kind of funny too. Oh yeah. Oh, like, um, she was like, she was yeah, turning you know, letters. Yeah, you know how like, like the, this, this per yeah, this person won, she like moved the bracket down, but you know, she was looking all seductive and everything. Oh man, well, <laughs> my, my, I, I, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a real complicated touch, touchy type issue on, you know, just, just giving my, my balance point of view is that it's good that, you know, hip hop can get a lot of exposure like that, you know, mm -hmm. um, to where the, the, the same things that we did, you know, on the streets, you know, and, and we weren't the first generation to do it, but, you know, that was that was the earlier part of hip hop. And then, you know, when we got into L.A., we kind of really, really, really took that to the next level. You know, we, we, we pulled that back out of hip hop, ballad on the streets and freestyling. And, um, you know, that, that was a big part due to the L.A. underground. But so it's good to see that type of exposure, you know, um, with it. But at the same time, just like, you know, a lot of the media is and, and, and MTV and all that stuff, they will water it down. They will make it overblown to it, it fractures in a million pieces and right. then, until they're done with it. And then it's on to the next, um, you know, uh, grassroots potion that they can conquer over, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. they, you know, they continue to do that stuff like that. And some people end up reaping the benefits off of it, and some people end up catching the bad end of it, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, all in all, I like the exposure, but if they really could could keep the, some authenticity in it, that'll be cool. If not, you know, it, we don't need it on MTV, you know? You know, or maybe we create another network. How about that? Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know. But um, I, I don't know. It depends on what side, what side of the end you want. You know, it doesn't do me any good. You know, but right, right. Um, you know, listening to Freestyle Fellowship back in the day. You know, I know you guys were really, you know, hyping up the West Coast, and y'all are one of the first artists to really do that. Yeah, we start at the W. Don't yeah. ever get it twisted. You know, y'all really took yeah. pride in just representing the West. You yeah. Know? So. How are you perceived when you go to other parts of the country, you know, especially like the East Coast? You know, is it are things differently over there? Or? Well, um, just the you know the, the 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 underground, I should say, or the independent you know music scene or whatever, all over has its little patches of of people all over each city that you know know our music and support us and what we do, right? So um, New York is no different, you know. It's, it's, it's a big city, but yeah, we have a small little nucleus of people who, you know, if they're not people from L.A., they, you know, it's people who have been familiar with our stuff from way back. We don't have as many as, of course, California or the Bay Area or L.A., mm -hmm. but, you know, we have, you know, we have a foundation set up there for people who know and understand our music. We just have to bring it up. We don't do as many as many things as, as we do here, mm -hmm. constantly shows and events and stuff like that out of New York, you know, so... A lot of times when I go out there, my campaign ends up being a new campaign of, you know, getting people to understand our music. A lot of people, they haven't heard of me, much less, you know, more than half of the cats that's already from the West that's making records, you know. Right. Um, so, you know, because it's real regional. And, and then you have the same type of thing going on out there with, with all the regional. So it's hard to keep up with, with everybody when, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, we but to answer your question, we do get a cool response out there. So we just want to, you know, develop it. That's cool. That's cool. Um, so is there any is there any one song that I always ask artists this? But is there any one song that really sticks out to you, or you know, that really means something special to you? One song? What one that, that hip hop you, song that you perform that you've written or, or been a part of? Or like a verse that's really, you know, that you get really identified. I mean, I know there's a lot, but if you could narrow it's, it down, it's almost impossible. It's almost impossible to say. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I, I wouldn't even want 
one lyric or one 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 song to sum me up, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't I don't I don't think it's, you know, it ta it takes a little more to it. I can't I can you know go through my top fifty lyrics that mm -hmm. I made, you know what right. I mean? Right. But I, you know it's it's hard to say. O only thing I would say is just uh, pivotal songs that 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 let the people know who we were, not necessarily what they meant to me as an artist personally, you know, but what they meant to other people like, you know, mm -hmm. songs like, um, you know, our first Freestyle Fellowship songs like, you know, Seventh Seal and that, you know, I didn't even write on that song, but My Fantasy and right. 120 Seconds and and then On to Boundaries and mm -hmm. and, um, and 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 the stuff we did on, on the second album, Pure Thought, you know, groundbreaking artistic songs. Pure Thought is really one of my Top five. If you ever heard that song, it's the last song on the Inner City Grills. Mm -hmm. We obviously deserve a standing ovation. Don't you think we honestly, solemnly swear or not to abide by the rules, give a living? Don't you think that we know what we're doing? Doing the time, observe, applaud, or cheer. See, you know, it's not a lesson of time right now, but you know, lyrics that you know, what we were doing artistically was taking it to another level. Now, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a different phase because the art of hip hop is not necessarily, you know. Um, like looked at as opposed to the shock value of it, you know what I mean? Did you, you understand what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Um, do you wanna do you wanna plug any albums that you're coming out with? Are you part of it or anything? I just want to talk about the Love and Hate record. It's out in stores right now, and um, features producers PMG, Fat Jag, RJD2. I did some stuff with LP from Def Jux. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, casual. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anti pop consortium priest and Sahib. Yeah. <laughs> and then the Good Brothers record. You need to check that out. Project Blow presents the Good, Good, Brother, Good Brothers record. And, and you know, it's, it's, it's another one in, in our series of just compilations of, of you know, um, our artists, our whole collective. Everybody here has their own record, doing their own, you know, independent thing going on. Right. But we all come together to do records like that just to you know, solidify our unity, you know. So okay. them the only two records we got out. So you check for those. Many more things that come from Project Blow recordings. And, um, you know, we've been around. The Project Blow open mic workshop has been going on for 10 years. Right, right. And, um, well, actually, it's the ninth, we're having our ninth year anniversary, and we're going into our 10th year next year. Right. So, um, you know, and, and we're doing, we do an event down here, you know, based on those things. So we, we eventually want to take our open mic to city after city, mm -hmm. you know, our format. Because when I, I go around, I notice that nobody else, you know, maintain MTV, Project Blow, and all the little small, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, as far as that house battles and, 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 and you know, work, work with artists and everything. Anyway, check out the Good Brothers and Love and Hate in stores now. Cool, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that at the end. Um, are there any other questions you want me to ask you? Anything you want me to touch on? Uh, let's see. You know, anything in specific? Or? Um, <clears throat> oh, the single with Guapale? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. You can just plug that, too. The video <laughs> that we're going to have. Yeah. And the video for Oh, Give, Give it, it Here is important. Oh, the yeah. The video for Give It Here off the Good Brothers album is yeah. important. Give it here. Give it here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's cool too. Eh? Yeah. Sure <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Check us out. No. <laughs> hey, yeah. Um, don't forget to check out the video. It's called Give It Here. It's featuring. It's off the off the Good Brothers record. It's featuring myself, AC Alone, the um, the lonely one, the only one, MC from the Fellowship Project Blow, right? Right, and then um, Pep Love from Hieroglyphics and Ahmad from the Fourth Avenue Joneses. You got to know about mm -hmm. that. That's and the good. video is called Give It Here, and you check it out. That's, uh, let me show you. That's uh, Pep Love right there, the good brother. Uh, where's Pep Love? Uh, right there. And then Ahmad right there. That's good life. And then good one. So you check that out. And um, also the second single off the album Love and Hate featuring the Bay Area's own Guapale. Um, is out in storage right now, also with the B-side, Ace Cowboy. So check out the new music, and, um, you know, I hope it uh, d d 
It does something for your inner soul. All right. All right. You want to give me shout outs real quick? And you just yeah. Doing... Yeah. Shout outs, all that. We want to shout out all of the Project Blow, all CVE, Abstract Roof from ATU, Zulu, DJ Saturn, Fat Jack, um, Bad Drew right here, uh, Pterodactyl, Heinstein, all the good brothers with the album, Spud, Ryman Ridd, um, uh, Ben Caldwell at Chaos Network 4343 Lamert, Los Angeles, California, 90088. Uh, community center of youth activists who put together not only Project Blow, but a lot of other different programs that help our whole scene, our whole community, you know what I'm saying? Big up to Medusa, and big up to, um, all right, that's it right there. We leave it like that. We got some more? To the Bay. Uh, yeah. You know what? To the Bay. To well, the you know Bay. To the Bay Project area. Blow recordings that you got to watch that, you got to pay attention to, is that when we say California, we're not only holding down LA. Both singles off both albums got somebody from the Bay on it. It's yeah. a Project Blow coming to the Bay. We hold down all of California, especially LA and the Bay. Yeah. Because that's where all the love and all the real independent music is at anyway. That's right. Look cool. at California. All right. <laughs> yeah, cool. All right.